Hey guys, this is Tech Racer, and today we are going to take a look at the Cyanogen OS 13 on the OnePlus One. So let's get. So recently, Cyanogen has started releasing Cyanogen OS 13 update for its OnePlus One users. So let's take a look at the features. So first of all, we have a new addition uh, of the. Uh, pages on the quick uh, quick toggle menu as you can see now we can also edit the, the tiles as well as the layout of the quick toggle panel and we do have some options to show whether or disable the brightness slider as well so which can be done from here only so we do not need to go to settings as well so if we jump into settings uh, we will see a uh, not a major change in the settings uh, menu as well so if we jump to the notification we have new feature called as do not disturb which is a native marshmallow feature which has been added uh, into the uh, settings app also and which can be also turned on from the quick toggles as well as you can see and we can turn it off uh, also now in the memory management app we do have new uh, style of memory management so in this we can view uh, which app is using how much amount of ram and for how much amount of so this is a very good addition to the memory management uh, and then in the app section we have all the apps such as the system app as well as the installed app will be shown up here and we have control over all these apps from this uh, section uh, so if we go to settings then we have the app permission now we can uh, provide access or deny the permission for each of particular app for a particular uh, app request so we can uh, control that from here now in the battery management as you can see now we have a battery graph uh, since it's the marshmallow we do have the dose feature and the, the dose works perfectly almost uh, all the time uh, and uh, uh, we have a pretty good battery life but uh, which is a little bit better than the Samsung OS 12 but not as good as the Samsung Mod 11s so we do, do have that we do also have the battery optimization as you can see so uh, Whenever you, a new app is installed, it will ask you for such a permission for battery optimization and it will be shown up here uh, in the list as well. So now if we scroll down, then we do have a status bar option. As you can see now, we do have a status bar icon, a uh, new feature added. So we can just turn on, turn off or turn on the icons which you want to show up on the notification or the status bar. So that is a nice addition to the feature. So now if we go to about the phone, we do have the Android version 6.0.1 which is the Marshmallow. Uh, and uh, Sanusion OS 13 is based on this only. Now if we talk about the camera app, uh, we do have the same uh, Sanusion OS 12 camera uh, but quite a bit of new uh, UI element changes. So we do not have any new features added. So if we jump to setting as you can see we have uh, all the settings uh, which were previous uh, so we do not have any additional settings. So only UI element change in the camera app, uh, settings. In the dialer we have the true dialer only so new, uh, no new uh, customizations in it also. Uh, now uh, this is the google now launcher which I have installed uh, and this works perfectly well. Uh, now there we also have a Cortana which is embedded uh, but I find this app a little bit uh, useless because it doesn't work almost for me because it never works if, uh, even if I ask something to it it, uh, it does not show it or the shows that your country doesn't support it so uh, for me it's kind of useless and I just don't use uh, uh, this app uh, anyway uh, since it's the marshmallow we do have that google now on tap and uh, believe us guys this works perfectly uh, with this Amazon OS 13 so guys this is it for this video uh, as always if you found this video helpful then do hit that like button as well as the subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.